guys, welcome to the first tutorial of 2018. Can you believe it? 2018. Anyway, today we are going to make this skirt. For this project I used Bernat Satin. If you want a close-up, follow me on Instagram. I post the yarn um, so you can see the label and stuff. Uh, this one is uh, 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. Uh, it requires a 5mm hook, which I used a 5mm hook. It's 100% acrylic, uh, approximately 182 meters or 200 yards. Uh, and because I crocheted and frog, crocheted and frog a couple of times, I think I used a work size medium and I think for the length and for the size I used roughly five skeins of this yarn. So just make sure you um, get enough yarn. What else? Uh, it's in forest pine. I think I touched base everything about the yarn. I don't know where you can buy it. Um, I was given this yarn. Uh, actually I was given like four or five packs and it comes six in a pack. Uh, yeah, so that's that about the yarn. I don't remember the exact amount of chains I chained. I think I will mention it somewhere in the tutorial while crocheting. Uh, multiples of what, just pay attention when we start actually crocheting. I measured the circ the circumference of my hips, so that's gonna be the amount of chains you're gonna need or whatever multiple of that measurement. For the belt part of the skirt, you are just gonna uh, crochet plain uh, double crochets for as wide you want your belt to be, depending if you want it a high waist or I usually wear my skirts a little below the waistline just because I prefer that. And also you will need a wide uh, elastic band. You're just gonna sew it in. I'm not gonna show you how to sew in. There are plenty of sewing uh, channels on YouTube. You can YouTube how to put the elastic band on the skirt or whatever. Just, I'm not gonna waste your time, guys. I would rate this tutorial as advanced beginner. There is nothing complicated. Um, there are only two repeat of two rows. Only stitches you need to know is uh, chain, double crochet, and single crochet. And that's it. It's very simple. I don't see why a very beginner would not be able to do it. Again, just watch the tutorial first and you will see if you like it or not. For the last row, if you want your skirt to be scalloped, have some um, dimension at the bottom, you can finish with the row where the scallops are forming or the shells. If you want your skirt to be straight, just finish with the second row. Um, that will give you a straight line. If you can't find this exact yarn, you can use any yarn that requires a 5mm hook. You can use acrylic, you can use cotton blend, cotton um, with the wool, just make sure hand wash it, just follow the directions on the label. Um, other than that, grab your yarn, crochet hook, let's get to work. We will begin the project by making a slip knot. And you are gonna chain multiples of eight for as long as you need. How I personally like to do, and that's why I uh, don't really count my stitches, is if it's multiple of eight, I have my measuring tape on the table and I just keep doing one, uh, keep counting one through eight, one through eight, one through eight for as many times, um, for as long uh, or as wide I need my uh, skirt to be. So go ahead and um, chain as many as you need for your skirt. I might add a couple more of multiples of eight so I can show you a an example. Here I have 40 chains and I am going to connect the chain just make sure it's straight and not twisted and I will slip stitch into the very first there we go and I will chain two that will count as my first double crochet and I will add double crochets in each chain around Like so. One, two, 
three or I have a total of four. And to end this round, just add double crochets in each chain. I'll meet you here. And slip stitch into the second chain from the beginning. There we go. This part is your belt, so you can keep adding as many rows, rounds <laughs> of double crochets for as wide you want the belt of the skirt to be. You can make it super thin, you can make it super wide, totally up to you. But let's get to the um, actual uh, design now. So we will chain one and put a single crochet into the same exact space. Okay, then we will yarn over and count one, two, three. We will skip those and insert the hook into the fourth and put one double crochet. Then we will put one more into the same space. Two double crochets. We will chain one and put two more double crochets into the same exact space. We are forming our shell. We will chain one more time and put two more double crochets. So our shell is going to be two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So we have three groups of two double crochets separated by one chain. That's our shell. Then we will skip three stitches and put a single crochet into the fourth. And this is what it looks like. Then we will skip three and put a shell into the fourth. So our shell contains from two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, everything into the same space, chain one, and two more double crochets. Then we will skip three and put a single crochet into the fourth. Then again, skip three and a shell into the fourth. One, two double crochets, chain one, two more double crochets into the same space chain one and the last group of two double crochets into the space. We will skip three and put a single crochet into the next space. And this is how you go all the way around and I will meet you guys right here at the end of the round. At the end you will have three stitches left, but I would slip stitch into the first one where we um, chained one and put a single crochet. So to end this round, just slip stitch into that space. For round number two, we will chain three, that will count as our first double crochet. And then we'll add one more. So basically you will chain four. Then you will yarn over and put a double crochet into the same space. That's our V stitch. Then we will chain two. We will single crochet into the first, chain one space. We will chain three and put a single crochet into the second, chain one space. Like this. Then we'll chain two and put a V stitch here and on the single crochet, which is right between the shells. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the same space, like so. Then we will chain two and here we will start repeating. Single crochet into the first chain one space of the shell, chain three single crochet into the second chain one space of the shell, chain two, a V stitch on top of the single crochet in between the shells. 
single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Again, chain two, single crochet into the first chain one space of the next shell, chain three, single crochet into the second space of the shell, chain two, we stitch into the single crochet between the shells, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And this is how you go all the way around until you come to the end. Chain two, single crochet into the chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the second um, chain one space, chain two, and to end the row you will count one, two, three, and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning, like so. Now we will slip stitch into the middle of the V-stitch and we will start forming a new shell into the V-stitch. So we will chain 3, that will count as our first double crochet. We will add one more double crochet. We'll chain 1 put another group of two double crochets into the same space, chain one again, and two more double crochets to finish our shell. So now our shells will be forming inside of the V-stitches. So we will skip this chain two spaces, we will put a single crochet into the chain 3 space, which is right on top of the shell from the previous row, round, <laughs> but you get it guys. Then we are moving into the V-stitch, we will put our shell in it, so two double crochets, chain 1, two double crochets, chain 1, and two double crochets. That's our second shell inside of the V-stitch. Now we will find our chain 3 space on top of the uh, of the shell of the previous row, row <laughs> round and put a single crochet in it and move on to the next V-stitch and put another shell in it. Double crochet 2 chain one, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Now you are gonna put a single crochet into the chain three space and move on to the next V-stitch. And this is how you go all the way around. To finish off this round, you will have to put a single crochet into the chain 3 space and slip stitch into the chain 3 from the very beginning of this round into the first shell, like so. Now the tricky part. Um, you, when you are crocheting in rounds, um, the work is always facing, the right side is always facing you. Now you're going to have to turn and slip stitch back into the um, single crochet. So you can kind of and turn the work back again. So you can um, begin your the new round of, of these stitches right in between the two shells. That's why you have to kind of turn, slip stitch and turn again so the work is facing with the right side to, to, towards you. And you are going to be repeating exactly the same what we did in uh, round number two. Uh, you will chain four, that will count, the three will count as uh, double crochet and the chain one as a chain one in between of the V-stitch and put another double crochet into the same space. And there's your first V-stitch. Now we will chain two and repeat exactly the same. Um, put a single crochet into the first chain one space, chain three, 
single crochet into the second chain one space, chain two, put a V stitch in between the shells into the um, single crochet. Same exact thing. Again, chain two, single crochet into the first chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the second chain one space, chain two, and put a V-stitch into the single crochet in between the shells. And this is, guys, how you um, repeat the pattern. Um, and when you get to here, you will slip stitch into the third chain and then you will slip stitch into the middle of the V and you will start forming a new shell. And this is how I uh, ended my skirt with um, the shell part. If you want your skirt to be uh, straight, you can always finish it with the, um, the V stitch and the chains, but I want it scalloped at the bottom, so I finished with my shells. So yeah, totally up to you. And this is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. If you did so, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, I hope you will subscribe. And I will see you all next Sunday with another tutorial. Have a good one. Bye-bye.